Life. This segment of Delmarva Life is brought to you by Spicer Brothers Construction Incorporated. Well, the historic blizzard is beginning. Five states, the District of Columbia, are under states of emergency now, including Maryland and Virginia. In Delaware, Governor Jack Markell has already enlisted the National Guard to help. They will be under a state of emergency tonight at 8. People in Arkansas and North Carolina, some of the first to feel the effects of this nor'easter that's making its way up the coast. Now, according to the National Weather Service, a mix of snow, sleet, and freezing rain have wreaked havoc on the roads. As of midnight last night, 7,000 people in Arkansas were without power. By the time this storm is through, more than 77 million people throughout the East Coast are expected to feel the effects of this monster storm. Well, as Dan just told us, most of Delmarva is expected to see a mix of snow and rain, with more snow expected the further north that you go. Which begs the question, are you ready? Or better yet, is your house ready? Uh, yeah, the last thing you want is a major problem to arise during the storm. Delmarva Life Sean Stryker joins us now from just up the street with some pointers on how to make sure your roof is ready for this winter weather. Yeah, well, with the first major storm about to hit Delmarva, a lot of people are going to be thinking about getting their houses ready, more specifically their roof ready. But if we're going to talk about roofs, then we have to bring in the expert. I'm here with Brian Spicer with Spicer Brother Construction. Brian, thanks for joining me. No problem. All right, so. First question, can people get their roofs ready for a major snowstorm? Yes, they can. Uh, the fir first and foremost is, the, well, I would say, is the cleaning out of the gutters. If the gutters are full, the snow can't drain, icicles form. Make sure the roof is free of debris, those types of things. You know, water needs to, as the snow melts, needs to be able to drain off of the roof. Obstacles, trash, leaves, debris, anything in the way of that can cause problems because the water can penetrate and wick up under the shingles and cause damage. I know those icicles can be really dangerous if they start getting big, they can fall on someone, just yes. a dangerous situation. All right, now you were just at a house uh, and you were showing me pictures of it that there's a couple problems there. Explain to me what you saw at that house. We saw icicles actually forming behind the gutter, between the gutter and what is called the fascia board of the, the, on the eave. And what that means is a couple things. The gutter is too low. It's not flashed behind the drip edge, which allows water to get in between the gutter and the fascia. The fascia boards were all rotten. So we're going to be addressing that home, renovating that home to get that home uh, you know, it'll, it's not ready for this event, but we, you know, the, the, the homeowner knows and we'll be able to give them a proposal to get them prepared for the next snow and just precipitation in general. I know there was something with ventilation there as well. Okay, that house did not have ventilation. That can aid in, you know, ice damming, the icicles you have. You know, ventilation is becoming a major issue with the roofing installations. Ventilation can eliminate this problem, the proper ventilation of air intake into the attic space and exhaust at the ridge. Uh -huh. And now I know here on Delmarva there's uh, it's common to see something like a metal roof. Yes. Does that is that different? Do you have to care for that different uh, compared to a shingle roof? The the biggest thing for me is that the danger with those. If you have a metal roof uh, recently installed, you should have had or the you know the contractor should have addressed snow guards. And what that does is as the the snow or the ice slides off the roof, it is a very dangerous situation that can cause harm, can damage not only yourself walking into or, or guests into your home, can damage your railings, your shrubberies can be destroyed. That, that snow is heavy, that ice is heavy, comes down, damages your shrubbery, again injury, lights, fixtures, anything. It's just a it's a bad situation with a metal roof. Uh, so really want to be careful there. Alright, so a lot of things we talked about have to be taken care of. Uh, taken care of before the storm hits. Once it hits, once the snow is on your roof, is there anything people can do? I know they want that roof off. I know it's, a, it's an added weight. I mean, can you throw salt up there? Can you get up there and shovel it off? What no, do you recommend? No, no salt. You don't need salt. You know, salt does have properties that can destroy certain, you know, building materials. It, mortar on bricks and that, you know, you don't want to overdo it. You want to use the right kind of materials, but definitely do not put any salt on the roof. You know, if you don't feel comfortable going on your roof, leave it to a professional. Those things 
things that we can do. We have a service department that can come out and help prepare for an event like this. If it's not ready now, you know, just stay off your roof, or if it, there is a concern, call a professional in to remove it. Uh, metal roofs especially, I mean, that is, a, that is the, what we see as the, the biggest danger. Brian, thank you so much. Hey guys, a lot of really good information. If it's snowing, if your roof already has snow on it, don't go out there. It's really dangerous. Right now, you're going to have to just weather the storm, but afterwards, you want to make sure your roofs are taken care of for the next one, because we're on Delmarva, you know, storms can pop up whenever. Jimmy and Lisa, back to you guys. And I'm thinking this is not the first storm we're going to get this winter. Nope, nope. So when all this clears off, take care of it before the next one comes around. Absolutely. Well, from your home to your house,